The mini oven is a compact and low cost reballing unit, perfect for R&D and low volume production. It will eliminate production floor downtime with no interruption to the reflow oven just to reflow a single BGA. The mini oven cuts costs and lead time by not having to outsource. On the top of the lid is an observation opening that will allow visual inspection of the solder sphere's reflow. The start button begins the heating process and confirms options within the menu, similar to an enter button. Up and down buttons scroll through menus and modify parameters. The stop button terminates the heating process and functions as back and exit. The mini oven uses a unique heating concept of IR and convection. The IR heat comes from below the glass plate. Inlets located in the back of the oven feed hot air from beneath the glass plate to the inside of the heating chamber. As an option, nitrogen gas can be used to reduce oxidation. The temperature is monitored using the internal sensor. As soon as the process is finished, the fan starts the cool down phase. Martin offers standard and customized masks and frames. For successful reballing, the components should be clean and free of residual solder. Clean the mask and frame with isopropanol or in an ultrasonic bath. A frame is needed to center the component under the reballing mask. Having cleaned the component, flux is applied to the pads uniformly. Low viscosity flux is preferable to pastes. Verify that all holes are occupied with only one ball. After the fixture is placed in the heating chamber, select your component profile and start the reballing process. One beep indicates the internal target temperature has been reached. Now the solder spheres should be liquid and a view through the keyhole allows for visual inspection. Two beeps indicate that the oven has completed the process. After additional cooling time, the fixture can be taken out of the mini oven. Flux residues can lead to components adhering to masks. Carefully remove the component from the mask. It helps to remove it while still warm and to work with flux cleaner if necessary to ease the separation. The SMD hook can be used to help. Pad surfaces must not be touched with bare fingers.